I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of my God and my country. I will honor my parents, my teachers, my leaders, and my elders, and those in authority. I will be clean and honest in all my thoughts, my words, and my deeds. I will strive in everything that I do to work together with my fellow men of every creed and race for the greater happiness of all and the honor and glory of my country. Let us pray. Praise be to you, Almighty God, creator of the universe and all that is in it. We thank you, O Father, for the opportunity which you have given us to increase our knowledge. May your divine grace enable us to study hard and use what we learn for the good of our fellow citizens. We pray that you free us from selfishness, lust, greed, anger, and hatred. Warm our hearts with love, fill our minds with understanding, and strengthen our words in the face of all difficulties. Help us, O Father, to make our beloved country of Trinidad and Tobago the kind of place you want it to be, the place where human dignity is respected, where equal rights are accorded to all citizens, where hard work is encouraged and rewarded, and where you, O God, reign supreme.
As the Christmas story relates in Luke 2, verses 8 to 16, Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring to you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all the people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was, when the angel had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Jesus Christ, the focus of the season. Our celebration of Christmas should be a reflection of the love and selflessness taught by the Savior. It is the Christmas chair that divine feeling of joy that overcomes us. The Christmas spirit, a spirit of giving and forgiving, when we feel more kindly with a generous attitude, one to another. The gift giving at Christmas time reminds us of how God gave us the greatest gift of all, the gift of his only son. It is meant to be a symbol of love and kindness. There is not the glory you need when snow appears. There is not the Christmas card you search for years. God
of the year is that we recognize what is truly important. We give because He gave. May we never lose sight of the reason for the season. May we worship Him in gratitude. May the Christ child be close to us all. Vamos a rezar. Let us pray. Señor, gracias por el regalo de Navidad más preciado de este mundo. Su, uh, su Hijo amado, Jesucristo, le pedimos que nos ayude a llevar una vida llena de amor, compasión, humildad y gratitud. Amén. Lord, thank you for the most precious Christmas gift of this world, your loving Son, Jesus Christ. We ask you to help us live a life full of love, compassion, humility, and gratitude. Amen. De parte de los alumnos del Club de Español, El Lucero, les deseamos a nuestros compañeros de clase y profesores, Feliz Navidad y próspero Año Nuevo. On behalf of the students of Hillview Spanish Club, El Lucero, we wish all our classmates and teachers a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Joyo Noel. Sing down, Pilot. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.